Are you looking for a truly all-inclusive luxury cruise vacation? Are you ready to step up to luxury cruising but you don't think you can afford it? Join me as we discover how Silver Sea ticks both the affordability and all-inclusive boxes. And be sure to stay with us all the way to the end of this video for a very special message from one of Silver Sea's well-known guests. And as always, if you enjoy this video, please like, subscribe, and ring the bell to get notified each time we post new content. guest today is Joe Leon, Vice President of Field Sales for Silver Sea Cruises. A South Florida native, Joe is a 26-year veteran of the travel industry, working on both the travel agency side and for the cruise lines. Hi, Joe. Welcome to RTE Travel Talk. Hi, Ken. It's great to be here. Thank you for the opportunity to speak to your viewers today. It's great to be with you, Joe. So, Joe, one of the current trends that our travel experts see is a trend towards all-inclusive cruising and small ship cruising. Small ship cruising, probably because people view it as a safer mode of travel in the in this era of the pandemic. And all-inclusive cruising, probably from the financial side of things, people are, are getting a little tired sometimes, I think, of being nickel and dimed. Now, I know that Silver Sea Cruises ticks both those boxes when it comes to cruising. So I thought I would just give the floor to you to tell our viewers and listeners a little bit about Silver Sea Cruises. Well, thank you, Ken, and uh, and and you are spot on. And and we're very grateful to be right in the middle of that new trend. And uh, <laughs> and it's a trend that started way before 2020, March of 2020. It's it's a trend we've seen in the industry now start to grow uh, for many years. And and it really has a lot to do with the natural progression of a consumer. I mean, we think of ourselves, uh, you know, I'm driving, thankfully, a nicer car than where I started and, and my vacation plans and expectations have changed as well. So of our consumers uh, and our yeah. cruiser and, and that cruising population that started 30 years ago is at a different stage in their lives right now. And, and, and we feel that we're positioned perfectly to be able to take them to that next step. Uh, help them reach that last stage of their evolutionary process as a, as a consumer, if you would. And and uh, the way this product is positioned, I, I'll, I'll give your viewers just three qu quick key references. Okay. Uh, first, we consider ourselves the destination leaders in the industry. We sailed over 900 different destinations. It's at the forefront of our planning. Uh, we offer an expedition product, which is unique in the luxury space. We take your customers to the most remote regions of the world and do so in un paralleled luxury. We feel that we are definitely destination leaders, uh, not just in the sheer number of places that we visit, but how we invest to visit them. Uh, okay. A great example is pulling into downtown St. Petersburg on our ships instead of having to dock a few miles, several miles away at the industrial pier. Secondly, would be that beautiful luxury platform that you said we've been operating now for 26 years, where it's centered around small, intimate ships. We carry no more than 600 passengers right now. Our ships are large ocean-going vessels that have this great sense of space throughout, but they range in size from the 600 down to 100 passengers on our very intimate silver origin that's dedicated to the Galapagos Islands and sailing year round every week to and from the Galapagos Islands. And last is value. It's, uh, it's a strong value proposition that comes with cruising because to your point, we're all inclusive. And you're right when you say that customers, once they reach this stage of their life cycle, the nickel and diming does get a little old, but more importantly, I think customers want an opportunity to pay for a vacation and then have the chance to go out and, and, and enjoy it as they envision it without the constant reminder that they're still paying for it. Because I, I promise you, we take your customers anywhere in the world they want to go. If land meets ocean, it's on my calendar at some point throughout the year. Sail in the most luxurious settings at sea, small, intimate ships, large ocean going vessels with a lot of space for your customers and the strong value proposition that comes with all-inclusive cruising. Now, you talk about all-inclusive cruising. I have to admit, my wife and I, we were looking at one of your sailings in 23, and I'm a numbers guy, mm -hmm. and I ran the numbers, and you're, you would consider Silver Sea, were consider Silver Sea in the upper luxury category. Yep. At the top of the industry, for sure. Okay, being the numbers guy that I am, I ran the numbers on it. And with everything included on this all-inclusive door-to-door packages that you have, I added up that and compared it to a previous cruise that we'd taken on a contemporary line probably about two years ago. And you're looking about the same amount of investment and perhaps a little bit less. Yeah. Yeah. And that's where that strong value proposition comes into play, right? That's really what the future of our market is, is, is for our advisors to be able to go out and explain this message to customers because right. uh, you're right. When people hear the word luxury, they, they expect a high quality 
product, but but with it a, a, a high ticket price as well. And that's really not the case when, when you put together luxury cruising. And that's something that we're all very similar at in this space is our inclusions. And here at Silver Sea, we consider ourselves the most inclusive. We include private sedan transfers that pick you up at your home within 50 mi- miles of your, your departure airport. We include economy air everywhere we go. We have an option for business class to buy up. So we won't force the business class on customers, but there's an option for them to purchase up. Transfers are always included. And of course, once you get on board the ship, you have this unbelievable all-inclusiveness that it features Wi-Fi, gratuities, all of our beverages. Of course, there's up to eight different dining venues for your customers to choose from once they're on board the ship and uh, and all of the other wonderful amenities that we're so well known for on board. So but we really do consider ourselves the most inclusive. We include excursions, shore excursions in every port of call. There's a list of excursions that your customers can choose from as included. There's also a list of excursions that they can buy and purchase up to that are a little bit more exclusive, mostly requiring special equipment or transportation or limited areas that people could visit by number. We will offer you an included excursion to all of the sites you're most interested in seeing in that particular destination. And when you sail with us on Expedition, we're it's easy. We are the infrastructure. So <laughs> everything's included there. All of your guides and tours are included with our, of course, our, our naturalist scientists and, and the people who are your expedition guides throughout. Joe, what... What what would be the demographic that we'd find on board a Silver Seas cruise? Yeah, I, you know, I think you'd be surprised. All walks of life. We've right. got a strong international footprint. So I think that uh, one of the beauty, beautiful things about sailing on Silver Sea is that when you sail on Silver Sea, you feel like you've actually left the country. You're going to meet people from uh, South America, from the UK, from from Europe. And then, of course, our, our strong Australia and, and Asia market once, once those guys start to bounce back. So strong international footprint. But I, I think as far as age is concerned, if I were to throw an average out there, I'd probably put us in the low to mid 60s, but more on destination is what's going to drive your demographic. You know, you think of places like the Galapagos or Antarctica right. or the Arctic, you're generally going to find a more active and maybe a, a younger crowd early to mid to late 40s and 50s. I think it's pretty consistent throughout the fleet and uh, and throughout the destinations. You're going to find this right where you expect us to. Be. Well, as you know, once you start cruising, people cruise till they drop. So. That's right. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Well, that's that's what we're banking on. <laughs> the thing that I see about about this all incru- all inclusive cruising and port to port cruising is the absolute value that's there when you compare it to like a, a contem- contemporary or an upper premium. You're right there with value, and I think in some cases probably even better. Tell us a little bit more about all inclusive and port to port. It, it was important to us, Ken, that, uh, that that we maintain that and that we add more to our pricing uh, or the value behind our pricing. I think it's important for our consumers uh, that they see a seamless fare, one that they know that they paid months before they board. And again, right. the, the, the objective here is to be able to offer them an environment where they can enjoy it exactly how they see fit, not because there's an additional transaction that needs to be processed. Um, and so that's what led us to this door-to-door concept and being able to uh, offer our customers, uh, that experience right from their door is something that's unique to us and uh, and one that we're proud uh, proud to be able to offer and, and, and a position we're proud to be in. Great, great. So tell me a little bit more about Expedition. The, the Expedition, you know, Expedition is, yeah, Expedition is, it's exactly what it says it is. It's an exploration and being able to go to places that, quite frankly, you didn't think you were able to get to. Places right. like Papua New Guinea or into the Galapagos Islands, uh, the Arctic regions, uh, up to Svalbard, go down into the last continent of Antarctica. And those are places that are pretty well frequented now by other suppliers, but it's a big world out there. We have the Seychelles, we do Cape Verde, we do the Azores, we do the British Isles on an expedition. And it really is a way to maybe visit a port that they've seen or visited before, go back there and see it in a completely different way. It sounds absolutely amazing. You've been back in the water sailing since July of last year? June 18th was our first sailing. Uh, Our second sailing was June 19th. So we started June 18th out of Athens, uh, sailing to the Greek Isles this summer. We then launched our brand new ship. These were two brand new ships, by the way, that were delivered in 2020. Uh, They were laid up until we had the clearance to go. So the Silver Moon sailed for the first time June 18th of, of last year, 2021. Uh, and then the Silver Origin set sail for the first time on Saturday, June 19th of 2021 for her first seven-day Galapagos voyage, all of, went, uh, all of which went extremely successful. One thing that we learned early on, Ken, was our protocols work. The insurances and the policies and the protocols that we have in place to safeguard customers and take care of them in the event that, uh, that they do 
have a positive test on board, uh, we found works. We're very proud to say we've, we've operated several dozens of cruises since the start of the summer, and, uh, and we continue sailing today. Uh, of our 10 ships, currently seven are in operation. Perfect. Perfect. You know, that's one thing that I hear from all of our guests that have, have sailed already is the absolute impeccable service across all classes and all lines. People are just so happy to get back to, to cruising and the crews and the cast on board are so happy to have people back and, the, and it filters down to the guides. It's just, an, it's an, people that are cruising now, it's an, actually an amazing experience. It really is. And the, and the crew, I could tell you, it's, uh, you know, we've, we've always been celebrated for our crew. We, we, we hang our hats on, on our beautiful ships and the beautiful destinations that we plan, but the true superstars of the delivery of this product are our crew members. They become friends and family of our customers. And uh, this last season in particular, they really are, uh, not only are they the shining beacon of the product right now, but they're so happy, genuinely happy to be yeah. back at work. And it really just seeps out of them. You could feel it from the minute you step on board and uh, and you will feel it throughout your entire voyage. These guys. Yeah, that's excellent. Uh, it was related to me by a, a satisfied cruiser. And they said, you dropped, in, you dropped your napkin in, in the dining room. We had three people there to pick it up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, Joe, as you know, there's been a lot of media attention out there about what's going on in the world and cruising in general. In my view, I kind of get on my soapbox. Cruising gets always seems to get a bad, a bad rap. I call it the Poseidon syndrome. Yep. But far and away, everything that we've seen that they're, they are probably the safest way to to travel right now. Yeah, it's not just the safest way to travel, Ken. We believe it's the safest way to be anywhere. Quite yeah. frankly, you know, you, you you think of what our requirements are and the protocols that were put in place for us, the uh, the measures that that were held up against. There isn't another industry in the world that promises your customers a safer environment. The, all of our crew members are vaccinated. Our passengers all must be vaccinated, no exceptions. We will test you on before you get to the ship. We will test you while you're on board, and we will test you again before you get off, just to ensure. We will put in place our contact tracing, our quarantine measures in the event of an infection. You know, our promise is not to keep COVID off the ships. Our, our promise is to react the best way we possibly can to provide you the safest environment so that you have the least likelihood of finding COVID on a ship. And I can tell you that all of those promises have been fulfilled and, uh, and, and we've seen a tremendous amount of success. It's unfortunate that this industry, as to your point, has been put in a bad light. I think that there's a lot of misinformation out there regarding this industry and misunderstanding uh, re and, and reported. And I think that we're it's easy. It's easy. This is the low hanging fruit, right? Yeah. Um, it's easy to make a, a big scare out of one that doesn't really exist in this industry. It's unfortunate. Yeah. Um, but I give your customers this advice. Heed your own warnings. Follow your own warnings and your own standards. For those of you that are out there living your lives, please come on board the ship and have a wonderful time. There's a vast majority of all of us that are so over this and yeah. are, are just itching to go to come back on board and we see it all the time it's it's a wonderful thing so joe do you have any other final thoughts about silver sea cruises well i, I again really believe we are at the top of the market our ships are innovative they're new we continue to innovate with the announcement of every new build we have there's a new silver nova that will be open for sale uh, it's open for sale now we'll start sailing in july of 2023 this will be the most sustainable ship ever built cutting our carbon emissions by 50 percent from what wow. our current emissions are now well joe this has been extremely extremely informative i'm very very interested in the, that expedition cruising we're going to have to have you back sometime to so that you and i can talk more about expedition cruising i'd love to do a dedicated segment just on expedition ken i, I think it warrants it sounds like a plan all right my friend so i'll just say here's a wish for you for safe and happy travels May the wind always be at your back, and I hope to see you on a Lido deck real soon. Same here. Thank you, Ken. Bye-bye. And that just about wraps things up for today, folks. A very special thanks to my guest, Joe Leon of Silver Sea Cruises. If you'd like more information about Silver Sea, you can visit our website, realtravelexperts.com, to find a travel advisor near you. Send us a question to questions at realtravelexperts.com or simply leave us a comment. We always respond. So until next time, I'm simply going to wish you happy travels and leave you with this very special message from Mr. Steve McCurry. To all of you who have been yearning to travel, I'd like to say just one thing. It's time. It's time to go to the edges of the world and see that there is no end to discovery. 
It's time to go out and seek those hidden treasures. The most precious things on earth aren't things at all. The world is reopening. Open up to the world. Mr. McCurry, we're about to leave port. Would you please have this sent for me before we go? Certainly, sir.